My name is Maryam Al Khawaja and I'm a Bahraini human rights defender as well as the special advisor on advocacy for the Gulf Center for Human Rights. A lot of my work has focused on Bahrain but I've also been working on the larger Gulf region as well as Iran, Iraq, Syria and Yemen. Unfortunately, you know, in 2011, uh, despite a lot of the hope that we had that uh, positive change was going to come to our region, that we were going to see larger space for civil society, more respect for human rights, it's been going in the opposite direction for the most part. And, you know, in the past years we've said that there's a shrinking space for civil society. I would say that today, you know, in 2017, we're looking at a situation where in a lot of the countries that I work on, there really is no space for civil society left at all. It's been obliterated. And this is extremely, um, you know, worrying because we're looking at a situation wherein if civil society no longer exists, if human rights defenders can no longer do their work without being arrested, uh, you know, pushed into exile and or put under travel ban and facing charges, then how do we expect that, uh, you know, society is going to actually change for the better? How do we expect that there will actually be pressure on governments to respect human rights? And so I think, you know, when we're looking at the Gulf region in general and the countries that I'm working on, um, it's very important that we not only focus on the larger human rights issues, on corruption and uh, the situation of the use of the anti-terrorism laws to target human rights defenders and civil society, but also look at how do we support human rights defenders and civil society in their work itself, how do we create more space for them. So I think, you know, the EU definitely can play a bigger role than they have. Um, it's quite worrisome to me as an EU citizen, but also I think for human rights defenders who have been working with the EU, to see the EU taking um, a less uh, consistent and strong uh, position on issues of human rights in the Middle East and North Africa. And I think if, you know, institutions like the, uh, the European Union start taking a step back, and stop being so engaged on human rights issues, on anti-corruption, anti-terrorism issues in the sense that protects and promotes human rights defenders and civil society, I think we're going to be looking at a much uh, worsening situation in the, in the years to come. Which is why I think the EU is definitely in a position to push for more respect for civil society, for the protection of human rights defender, which I think is it goes beyond just the issue of them caring about human rights from a moral perspective. It's something that actually exists within the EU guidelines. So that's definitely my recommendation of what the EU can do to better promote human rights.